Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Dewan Linux. Hopefully I didn't butcher the name. It's D-E-V-U-A-N, so I'm going to call it Devon. It is a fork of Debian that doesn't have systemd. I do want to apologize right off the bat. For some reason, it would not run in GNOME boxes, so I've opened it up in VirtualBox, and this is the best resolution I could get. I believe it's 1680 by 1050. So, before we get started, please do me a favor. Like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel on Patreon, those links are in the description down below. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run over to Devon's website. Basically says Devon GNU Linux is a fork of Debian without system D that allows users to reclaim control over their system by avoiding unnecessary entanglements and ensuring INIT freedom. Devon releases Beowulf 3.1 is what we're looking at right now. The 2.1 release has been moved to old stable status and Jesse 1 release is now archived. It's got information about installing, contact information about the site. It shows packages, development, community. You can click on community. Should you have any problems, you can come over here and ask questions if you want. You can donate if you want to help them out. It looks pretty interesting. So I'm ready to dive in and take a look. So let's close out of this. And as you can see right off the bat, you've got one panel up top and you've got a dock down below. One thing I did notice is this is a folder but this is actually to show restore minimized windows. So I might go with a different icon for that, but that's just me. Then you've got terminal. Let's go ahead and open the terminal. Let's see if they've got HTOP. They don't have HTOP. Let's try top. They do have top. I've got two gigabytes of RAM issued to this system. At present, at rest, we're using 321 megabytes, which is extremely light, making it the perfect distribution to put on an older PC, or you could put it on a newer one and it would just flat out fly. So let's close out of this. Go down here and open the file manager. The file manager is obviously Thunar, so it's very lightweight. You've got your usual suspects over here. And then your home folders right here, desktop, documents, downloads, things like that. It's just a very light, quick, fast file manager that lets you get your work done and stays out of your way. We'll close out of that. And then you've got Firefox down here on the dock. You do have search. So if, I guess if you click on that and just type in graphics. You've got settings manager, settings editor. So you can do searches from right there. So that's pretty impressive. I like that. And then another folder. That'll take you directly to your home folder where you can pick everything out of here. Okay. So that's quick and that's right on the desktop. So let's right click. Can we change the wallpaper? Desktop settings. There's the backgrounds we have. We got some Debian in there. We've got a lot of them that look like what we already have on the screen. Let's go ahead and just pick that one. I think I will stick with the red. So they're just different versions of the red. Yep, some change here and there. Then you got your menus. You can make adjustments to your menus right here, then your icons. And if there's things you don't want on your desktop, you can just click them right here and they will disappear. So let's close out of that. Up top, you got username, internet connection, time, your four workspaces. So you can get more done. Right click on that panel. Let's see what we can do. Panel preferences. And we should be able to make the panel a little bigger, correct? Oh, you can make it huge. Okay, let's go back down. That's just a little too big. So you can adjust that. You can adjust appearance. Alpha, if you want to add opacity to the panel, you can. Items. Now you can put new items up here. So let's say you wanted to add an item. You just click there. Find out what item you wanted to add. Click it. Click add. And then it will be added up here. So just another way to customize your desktop. So let's close out of that. Let's go to the applications menu. We got run program, terminal emulator, file manager. We already saw mail reader. You have to come down here and select the mail reader you want. And that's a terminal bound home Devon mail does not exist. Do you want to create it? I would if I was installing it, but I'm not going to do that at the present. So that's basically a terminal mail program. 
You can download something else, or it may even come with Thunderbird. We'll check here in a second. Web browser settings, you've got accessibility, appearance. Uh, let's look at appearance. So you've got clear looks, Phoenix, Cinnabar. You could change this to anything you wanted to. So what if we went industrial? Okay, that changes things up. Takes that red U off of everything. We could go to Redmond. No, I'm not going to do the Windows look. I'm just going to stick with what it's on. Icons, we got Cinnabar icons. You can go with Gnome. You could go with Tango. Let's try Tango. There we go. See down here now? It's like a pad for a desk. So that's, yeah, I'm going to leave that. Fonts, size 10. Let's custom DPI them. Make them a little bigger. Okay. Or toolbar style icons. Menus and buttons show images on buttons. You unclick that. You could take the images. Okay. As you see down here, the images disappear off of the buttons. And then event sounds. So that's appearance. Let's close out of that. Let's go back down to settings. You got panel, power manager, sessions, window manager, tweaks, accessories, application finder, bulk rename, Thunar development, icon browser, education, LibreOffice math. Graphics, LibreOffice Draw, Restretto Image Viewer, Internet, Firefox, Mutt, Multimedia, Parole Media Player, Xfalso, Pulse Audio Controls, Office, you got the LibreOffice Suite, Other, you got larger fonts, smaller fonts, System, Refract a Snapshot, Synaptic Package Manager, there you go. Let's open up Synaptic Package Manager. This is where you'd go to add your software. So if you know what software you want to download or you could just come up here and do a search. Let's say we were looking for Thunderbird for mail. We do a search. We did our search. Thunderbird's over here. And now we've got a list over here of Thunderbird. We just have to go through and pick English. Check the box. Mark it for installation. And then this will pop up showing the other dependencies that are required. You would mark all those for installation and then come up here and click apply. And then it would install Thunderbird. So. That's Synaptic Package Manager. My preferred package manager, honestly, if I'm using anything Debian or Ubuntu-based, I don't use the software managers. They're nice to have, but just to get over here and get into the business of downloading applications that I need, this is much quicker, it seems, and much more reliable. So I'm going to close out of that. And then Task Manager. Let's look at Task Manager, see what kind of resources it says. Memories at 20%, CPUs at 3%. So, I mean, all in all, a nice little lightweight XFCE desktop. Devon Linux. Beowulf. Here's the beauty of it. Doesn't have System D. I mean, that's been in the news a lot lately. Operating systems getting away from System D. They seem to be speeding up. They're using less resources. I mean, what's your opinion? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee or better yet, Become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links are in the description below. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next video.